Hepatitis B Introduction Hepatitis B is the most common serious liver infection. It is caused by the hepatitis B virus that attacks the liver. The virus is transmitted through blood and infected bodily fluids. This can occur through direct blood-to-blood -blood contact, unprotected sex, use of unsterile needles, and from an infected woman to her newborn during the delivery process. An adult usually fights off the virus, but if the body cannot fight it, chronic hepatitis B develops. Chronic hepatitis B can lead to cirrhosis or liver cancer, which can stop the liver from working properly. A person will die if his or her liver does not function. Of the 12 million Americans who have been infected with hepatitis B, more than 1 million have chronic hepatitis B. About 100,000 people become infected with hepatitis B each year. 5,000 Americans die each year from chronic hepatitis B and its complications. This patient education program explains what hepatitis B is. It discusses its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Hepatitis B When a person is first infected with the hepatitis B virus, this is called an acute infection. Most adults will fight off the virus and recover without any problems. If the virus remains in the blood for more than six months, a person is then diagnosed as having a chronic infection or chronic hepatitis B. Fortunately, 90% of healthy adults will recover and develop antibodies against the hepatitis B virus. Unfortunately, this is not true for babies and young children. About 90% of babies and 50% of young children are unable to get rid of the virus. People who recover from an acute hepatitis B infection will develop protective antibodies. After fighting the virus once, the body knows how to protect a person from getting a hepatitis B infection again. They become immune to the hepatitis B virus. For those who do not get rid of the virus after six months of infection, this means the virus may stay in the liver and blood for a lifetime. These people are diagnosed as having chronic hepatitis B. Although most people with chronic hepatitis B have long, healthy lives, they do have a greater risk of developing serious liver disease later in life. The virus can quietly and continuously attack the liver over many years without being detected. The liver is a very important organ in the body. It helps digest food, absorb nutrients, resist infections, remove waste and poison from the body, and make proteins that help the blood clot. Without a functioning liver, a person will die within one to two days. In the liver, a chronic hepatitis B infection can lead to cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is a condition where the cells of the liver are scarred by tissue fibers. This causes the liver to become less effective. With severe cirrhosis, the liver stops working. This is known as liver failure. A chronic hepatitis B infection can also lead to liver cancer over time. Regular evaluation by a physician, for example a liver specialist, seeking treatment if appropriate, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle can help slow down possible liver damage from the hepatitis B virus. Symptoms Most people do not have symptoms during the acute hepatitis B infection stage. Any common symptoms that might show up are usually flu-like. Some have flu-like symptoms including fever, fatigue, muscle or joint pain, loss of appetite, mild nausea, and vomiting. Only 1% of infected people have severe symptoms while their body is trying to fight off the virus. Severe symptoms include nausea and vomiting yellow eyes and skin called jaundice and a bloated or swollen stomach. This condition, which can develop suddenly, is life-threatening 
and requires immediate medical attention. Hepatitis B is often called the silent infection because most people do not know they have been infected. People with chronic hepatitis B can live for decades without having any symptoms. Even though they have no symptoms, the hepatitis B virus can be silently damaging the liver for years. This is why it is important for all people to know if they have been infected with hepatitis B. If you don't feel well or think you have been exposed to hepatitis B, check with your doctor. A simple blood test will show whether you have been infected or not. Transmission